Hillary Clinton famously described half the electorate in the United States as the deplorables. Later, uh, we were described as domestic terrorists for taking an interest in what schools were teaching our children. And most recently, we've been labeled as election deniers. One thing that's always distinguished the Republican Party from the Democrat Party is the Democrat Party has a machine and always has strong coalitions. But in this round, the Democrats have given us a, a gift because we now have a coalition of the deplorables, the domestic terrorists, and the election deniers. And in this election cycle, it looks like it's going to be a winning combination. Welcome to Conservative Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith, and we're here with this special uh, Election Eve uh, coverage of uh, our projection of what's going to happen in this election. And on a Saturday call, some people were even questioning whether we were going to have an election. And I, I think I'm safe in assuring everybody that we're we're definitely going to have an election on Tuesday because. There's just too much invested in the system to have anything interfere with the election going forward, for, for good or for bad. And in this particular case, I think it's going to be all for the good. I, I'm um, surprisingly optimistic about the entire outcome, and it's kind of a new, a new revelation. You know, I'm not a big uh, person of prayer, but recently I've been thinking, you know, instead of praying to God, I'm just going to be open to, to what God is praying for me and praying for us and I I think that in this in this go around God's not gonna be voting Republican or Democrat but God's gonna be voting for us I think he's uh, rooting for us to to get it together and I think in these last couple of years we've done that um, I think a lot of people their prayers are that there's going to be a dramatic change in this country and there's gonna be the the draining of the swamp but did any of us ever stop to think, well, what what does the draining of the swamp look like? It it probably happens from the bottom up and not the top down. Recent analysis has shown that in many state legislatures around the country, there's going to be a major reshuffle as much uh, on the Republican side as the Democrat, as grassroots people uh, campaign and run for office to get rid of rhino Republicans and corrupt Democrats. There's going to be a a major shift from the bottom up and this is something that's remarkable and significant. A friend of mine recently told me that um, you know we have our impression of the world and of God but uh, God really wants us to have uh, an impression of God that is his version of who he wants us to think God is. And that does sound a little convoluted and a little counterintuitive but it's a reminder that God's ways are not our ways, and maybe we need to take a step back and, and let the blessing of tomorrow's election wash over us. In the later half of the second century, the, the narrative was that our greatest threat was the Soviet Union, and somehow the Soviet Union just evaporated overnight, unexpectedly and apparently um, to the dismay of the CIA and Central Intelligence Agency. It was simply not on their radar. It was beyond their wildest imagination. In this particular in, uh, instance in world history and in our lives, we we might very well be at the similar similar juncture. And I will be working the election tomorrow, and I, I'm going into the election with renewed excitement and enthusiasm. And if you have not voted already, I, I encourage you strongly to uh, go to the polling places tomorrow and encourage at least 10 friends to join you and voting uh, your conscience and voting for a better country and for what very likely will be a major draining of the swamp. If you would like to join us at uh, Conservative Coffee Hour, Conservative Coffee Hour is every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time on Zoom. I will be happy to include my email in the description of this video and send you an invitation. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.